Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel friends if you not subscribed my YouTube channel yet do subscribe it today and press the bell icon to receive notification about my new videos. In this video we will see how to fix audio problems on your Windows 11 operating system. If you have recently updated your Windows 11 and audio is no longer working after that or in case if you are facing audio loss all of a sudden this video will surely help you to fix the problems like that. So let's get started and start troubleshooting the audio problems on your system. In this video, I will show you different methods to troubleshoot audio on your system so that it starts working as expected. So we will start our troubleshooting steps by first running the troubleshooter which is specifically designed for audio problems. So we will open the settings app, go to system and then troubleshoot. Under troubleshoot click on other troubleshooters and here you will find playing audio option click run next to it and it will start the playing audio troubleshooter this troubleshooter has been designed to found and fix audio problems on your system so if you are lucky this troubleshooter will directly fix the audio problem you are facing and you do not need any further troubleshooting uh, before moving on I would like to mention that on this system I do not have any audio problem but I am illustrating all of these solutions to show you how you can fix audio on your system. So as you can see that in this case the troubleshooter could not identify the problem because I do not have any audio problems at the moment. But in your case it may report some issues and fix them automatically so that audio gets start working on your system. In case if the troubleshooter did not help you we will move on to the next method and we will now check the audio drivers installed on the system. For that we will go to settings, system, sound, under sound click on the speakers and in case if you do not have any audio device installed here at this stage I will show you how to fix it later in this video but in case if you have any audio driver installed make sure it has latest driver updates installed otherwise you can click on check for driver updates so that you can update the driver using windows update and this will help you to resolve the current sound related issue you are facing now moving on to the next option here under general make sure you have here allowed the apps and windows to use this device for audio in case if you see here allow button click on that so that it can show don't allow option here which is for blocking the audio and we do not have to block the audio next under output settings you can click on test button and you will hear some test sound from windows like this this will help you to ensure that the sound is working or not Let's continue our troubleshooting further in case if these methods didn't help you. So we will right click on the start button and select device manager. Under device manager, go to sound video and game controllers. Under sound video and game controllers, you can locate your current audio driver. In case if no audio device is installed, you can install an audio driver directly from your device manufacturer's website. Simply go to your device manufacturer's website and search for the audio drivers for your system model and install them like any other software. However, if you already have an audio device or driver installed, you can double click on it and make sure that on the general tab, the device is working properly message should appear under the device status. If this audio driver is not working properly, you might see some error code here. So simply go to the driver tab and under driver tab you can click on update driver to update this driver to latest version. In case if you are facing any audio issue after updating the driver you can select instead roll back driver button here so that the driver will be downgraded to previous version when the audio was actually working. Next you can also try uninstalling the device and reinstalling it 
If you do not want to uninstall the device, you can simply right click on the audio driver and select disable device. Click yes in the confirmation prompt. Now the audio driver has been disabled and we can see here no audio device is installed. Now again right click on the audio driver and this time select enable device and you can see that the audio is back on the system now. In case if that doesn't help, you can click on action and then scan for hardware changes. And in case if there was something wrong with the audio driver, the issue you are facing must be fixed now. Moving on, if these solutions didn't help you, we can check windows audio services and for that we will right click on the start button and select run type services.msc and click ok under services window scroll down and locate windows audio service and make sure it is running so you can see that here windows audio service is running in case if it is not running you can simply right click on that service and select start here the service is already running that's why start option is grayed out next make sure that windows audio endpoint builder service is also running and additionally make sure that the remote procedure call service is also running when these three services are running in background you will be able to fix the problem you are facing with sound due to these services next you can try disabling audio enhancements for that we will right click on the volume icon on the taskbar and select sound settings and scroll down and locate more sound settings on the sound window select your primary audio device and click properties on the property sheet go to enhancements and disable all enhancements there and click apply followed by ok in case if you are facing audio problem on a specific app and audio is not working on a specific app but is working on another app you can try unchecking the exclusive mode here so uncheck the allow applications to take exclusive control of this device option and click apply followed by ok so you can try all of these solutions uh, to troubleshoot audio on your windows 11 and i hope something should work to fix this audio problem on your system in case if you have any question about these methods, do let me know via your comments. I will be happy to help you. And that's it for now in this video. Thanks for watching it. If you found it helpful, do like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.